Hello and welcome to this week's Before You Buy. A little bit of an older kit here, but uh, we're going to take a look at Monogram's 1959 Chevrolet Impala Hardtop. Uh, this is a 1996 release. It is a 125th scale, you know it is a Monogram. Kit number is 2454. box art. We'll get inside. Show you what we got. We got one chrome tree here. Some factory wheels, windshield frame, side chrome. We'll take a look at these a little closer after we get everything unbagged. Second chrome tree there. I've already got the, the glass bagged up for protection. Close the set of wheels. And there's a, a set of reds hanging out in there. There it is. Looks like we've got kind of two and a two and a half trees to get through. So uh let me get these unbagged and we'll take a look. Okay, now that we are unbagged, take a look here at what would normally be the decals, but I believe this set is stickers by the looks of it. Uh, you got two choices of interior seat fillers and two different license plate sets. And that's it for this guy. Uh, we've got a monogram, kind of a map style instruction sheet. Plenty of good instructions uh, to show... 49 steps to this kit, so it looks pretty in-depth as far as the instructions go. And now we will move on to some glass. Kind of leave it in the bag here, but we can see that a you know, front windshield with some visors, a back glass. We do have four individual headlights, a couple of vent windows there. And a couple other uh, kind of marker lights. As well as we have a pair of the, the long red tail lights of the 59. Very unique to this car. And we've got four of these stock style tires. Kind of a straight rib and they are the, the monogram style for the white wall inserts. So there's that, and we'll jump over to Chrome. And we got a couple of uh, aerials or antennas. I think those are our marker lights again. We've got nice individual wipers. Here we've got uh, our vent window Chrome separate. It's like a license plate triple carb setup with a fuel line which is kind of nice separate door handles pretty nice makes for a nice detailed kit and bumpers we got a front and rear there with some bumper guards as well as we've got a, a dressed up version that is set up for a continental kit pretty cool to have a choice on that some like it some don't our nice quad headlight grill. Uh, this here is our lower dash chrome. And we have a separate windshield bezel. Can be nice, can be broken. And we got some chrome trim spears with the Impala script in them. Uh, let's see, we got some mirrors here. That's a side mount mirror, and here's our inside mirror for speaker grills looks like we got our taillight bezels hood hinges uh hood grill hood lips our stock hubcaps with the cross flags it's another set of uh centers can't tell if that's the impala or the cross flags looks like the cross flags and moving on, we have 
No opening doors, no opening trunk, but we have an opening hood, of course. Real nice molding. There's a... I can get it to focus here. Has an emblem there on the back. Some nice defined chrome. Oh, they run something. Looks like we got uh, a battery. There might be a few loose parts based on the age of this kit rattling around, but uh, we got some shocks there. We got dual exhaust. Spring set, separate A-arms. There's our chassis. We got a, a molded-in frame, but no rear end or exhaust, so that'll still detail up nice. Look good, but be stable. We got a front suspension or lower A-arms. Steering links. Here's half of our rear end and control arms. And radiator support with some detail in it that all looks pretty nice and this tree there we got our our white wall rings here's our door cards they have uh the appropriate detail for the 59 looks nice that vent looks really good even though it'd be hard to see but very prominent door handles and armrests should be able to pick those out for paint detail. And our rear seat. All defined lines. Even has our ashtrays in there. And there's our back of our front seat. And our front of our front seat. And that's where you can see the your stickers go in to simulate some upholstery. If you'd like. You don't have to, I suppose. Detail out. Oh, we got some more spring sets looks like we've got a, a starter and a washer tank steering column with a shifter and some blinker we got a separate fuel pump coil sure what that other some other reservoir there we got some suspension parts there and we got water pump Steering box, our double drive shaft with the hanger bearing. Uh, we got some more, I believe that's some more suspension stabilizers. And we got uh, our fill tube. I believe that's a generator there. Distributor, power steering, fan, belt, real nice steering wheel. There's our uh, Continental kit. Even has some script in it. Chevrolet with the cross flags. It's a nice looking Continental kit. And we got some pedals here. Exhaust manifolds. There's some more uh, visors. I wonder, wonder how that works out with the ones on the glass already. It's interesting. Couple of radiator hoses, got some horns, wheel backs, or tricarb intake, heads, factory valve covers, nice tricarb air cleaner, really nicely detailed engine and transmission there. It's good block texture and all the rivets and components. And a good-looking radiator and firewall. Shroud. Even got optional skirts. And there's our hood, which has some badging on it. Again, Chevrolet with the cross flags. Yes, there's a couple of parts in here, of course. We've got our dash. Has that nice uh, you know, exposed gauge setup. Just kind of neat. And Paul on the passenger side, we have some our speedometer and other gauges in there as well. Remember that has the uh, chrome lower that goes on there. And we got part of the, the rear differential. Some other hose in there. And 
Uh, looks like our actual generator there. Just about lost her. And that will do it for this one. Again, as usual, we will take pictures so you have some nice still shots of all the parts and the instructions if you need them. And thanks for watching.